everyone. Whoops, wobbling ya. Yeah. Right, I've actually made a little myself a little table. I'll take that off for a minute. I got a new mat and it was folded. Look, I'm not going to get that out. So, just using it for now. Grease proof paper. Ta -da! My table. Okay. Basically, it's got legs that adjust. It's a bit of wood. I've got me um, level. Make sure it's all level. You can turn the wheels, they're adjustable wheels. Perfect. Love it. I got this idea from Steve McDonald. You should check his channel out. He does some really good stuff. He's got two different channels. He's got uh, ooh, a resin one, which is just about resin. And then he's got Steve McDonald Crafting, I think it's called. And it does all sorts. So I thought if I put that on top, it doesn't matter if I drop any resin because just chuck it away but then I thought well I'll put that on there just in case don't know why but I thought I would and this is a bowl mold now I saw this on Wanda's blessed creations and I thought that looks brilliant I like that because I keep trying to do these um what's to call it uh shapes and then making them into a bowl but to be quite honest every time I do it by the time I come back to do it it's to make it into the bowl it's either still too soft and it's time for me to go to bed because I've got work the next day or it's cured up so I never seem to get it right so I thought right that's gonna work <laughs> I've got no way of getting it wrong this time so I've mixed up totally um 450 grams of resin and my resin of choice is Vista uh, Cascade nearly out of it as well so I'll be having to fork out some of that so what I'm going to do is I've got some old um, tank stones can't mix it up in this one because I've busted the uh, jug so, I'm going to mix it up in this one, just a, an old one I've got. Um, so I'm just going to shove them in there. I'm going to use them all, might as well. I've got a tank load. <laughs> I've got two tanks actually. But I'm just going to mix some of the resin in with it, won't do it all in one go because you can guarantee this is going to create bubbles this could be totally the wrong thing to do but I thought I'd have a go and all I'm doing is mixing the resin in trying to get it all nice and mixed And my luck is a thin um, beaker and I'll probably end up splitting it. <laughs> you know what my channel's like. <laughs> and as you can see, there's lots and lots and lots of bubbles coming up. I think I've got it all. You've got to make sure you've got them all down the bottom here. Get them all covered. I think that's about it. Right. And all I'm going to do is let that sit for a little bit, for a few minutes. Look at all them bubbles. Um, let me light up. Get the old uh, chef's torch thing. Oh, and I've locked it. Them bubbles away. Another load. And 
you can see there's loads and loads and loads of bubbles come up. This is where I will probably end up move that way in. I'll probably end up um oh, it might have split already. Because I'm getting a lot of uh, resin on. <laughs> oh, me, Matt. Baby wipe. Give it a wipe. See then that split. Soon find out if it keeps coming out. Help the bubbles up a bit. Maybe not. Maybe it's where I was stirring it and I mixed it in somehow. Mm, not sure. Coming up, you can see they're still coming up. Look, give them a blast. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, I'm gonna attempt it. So, what I'm gonna do. Is um haven't really made work this bit out, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Right, I've got an old old um ice cream, I think I have that for. So all I'm gonna do it's gonna take a while what I think. Take a spoonful. Oh, oh it's quite tight. it down there oh this is going to take a bit of time i think people and give it a squish down i think what i might do so i'm not wasting time not wasting time but taking my time too long Give it a good squish. And hopefully, that will help the bubbles come up as well. Oh, look, I'm losing them. I'm not bothered about resin getting on the top. About losing all my stones. I don't want to lose all my stones. Come back. Uh, our weather has cooled down now, thank God. We've stopped having the 30s. It's finally cooled down and we've had some rain. Which was nice. Quite a few people have had um, thunderstorms in, in the UK. Um, if we have in where I live, then I didn't realise I've slept through it. <laughs> Which I'm quite surprised about if I have because I quite often have my window open. A bit of fresh air. Can't beat a bit of fresh air while you're asleep. Let me 
just a bit there. I reckon this is going to be fun to get this one out. <laughs> I'm just going to dump it on the top and then I can push it in Give it a squidgy wedgy down If you haven't watched Wanda's Blessed, uh, Blessed Creations, go and watch her. She's brilliant. Oh, brown paper keeps moving on me. <laughs> Maybe I need to think of something else to put on it. Hmm. Done more than I needed, really. Oh well, never mind. Just keep slapping it on. If it does the bottom, it does the bottom as well, doesn't it? Which I think it will. Doing it with this spoon wasn't a good idea. It's going everywhere. Oh, it's going absolutely everywhere. What a mess I make. on my bike out on the way home today and I uh, went past three young lads sitting on a, a bench one of us shouts out Oi! Where's your helmet? <laughs> I only go on one little tiny road and it's not really busy so I don't bother he goes, yeah, he goes Oi! Where's your helmet? <laughs> I just turned around and went Oh, I forgot it. <laughs> oh, you cheeky monkey shouting that out. <laughs> Shouldn't really wear one, I suppose, but I'm old school. Do you know what? Dump a lot. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> that was not meant to happen. <laughs> I meant to push the stones out. <laughs> oh dear. I think the dog was going to bark in a minute because somebody's walking past. Oh, look. <laughs> I 
I never seem to ever make anything without making a mess somehow. I'm sure that's why people subscribe, just to see what a mess I'm going to make. <laughs> Even that off. Right. Got a little bit left, but I'm not bothered. So there you go. Better clean my hands off a bit, am I? But yeah, just gonna wait and see if anything, all bubbles and everything come up. But I don't think it will. Here it will flash about. Oh, fuck, my fingers under. Right. Put that back on there. Give this a white round. I might. Oh no. I'm <laughs> pushing it down. Is just coming over at the top again. <laughs> It's gonna have to do. <laughs> it's gonna have to do. Another baby wipe. Right. Right. Now, be very careful um, when you're doing this because obviously you don't want to burn your mold mold and you don't want your um resin to basically stick to your silicone mold so i think somehow some of that has got to come out if i can Not gonna, is it? No. I've got way too much resin in there. <laughs> it's coming over the edge, left, right, and centre. Right, I know what I'm gonna do. All right, In two secs. Now I've seen uh, Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out do this. Just put too much in, so she takes it out. Just like this, basically. It seeps in somehow. Oh, I've got it all down the mould. Oh, well. Okay. I'm going to leave that now. Let's give it a quick scoot round. So I think now I've uh, levelled it off more. So, uh, not as... As full anymore, which is good. Okay, just give it a baby wipe round. Should be all right. Looks like a giant cake upside down. <laughs> I'm going to leave that. It's getting hot already. I think that's. I just hope it doesn't flash cure. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Come back, everybody. That's all nice and dried. I don't mind resin drying on my sticks. That doesn't bother me. But this is all nice and dry. Shall we have a go at undoing it? Let's see what happens. Right, so I'm gonna do it 
do that bit first and hook that bit first and then oops stuck to the oh look that's why I've got a massive overpour there <laughs> I've got quite a bit of overpour on it by the looks of it where it leaked <laughs> Never mind, it will, that all comes off. Okay, let's have a go at this. Oh, I've got some negative space on some of it. But that's fine, it doesn't bother me. This was just a, a bit of an experimental sort of thing to see what it looked like. I can always add bits if I need to. Hope. <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm puffing and panting, but it's coming off easier than I thought it would. She says as it gets stuck on a bit and that bit rubbles everywhere. There it is. I think it's because I've got resin on the other side as well. Ah, that's it. Oops. Bang. Move them out of the way a minute. I'm going to have to clear up my mat. Take that out. Oops. Oh, wow. <laughs> resin all over the outside of this one <laughs> it went everywhere <laughs> but it's a good mold folds back nicely Happy with that mold but yeah <laughs> it's quite a weight to it but there I thought well I can always fill that up a bit more so it's not so rough. I don't know. I think that's quite cute. <laughs> what I might do is two sets and I'll all be with you. See what this looks like. If you've just put this around, around the edge, just to see what it looks like. It might not look like it should be there at all, but mm. a bit of a, a bit more of a. Oomph, I think, doesn't it? Or does it? I don't know. Don't know. Hmm. Silver might be better. Or black. I can wash this off. No, don't like the black, but definite. What? Hmm. I don't think that looks right either. No, that doesn't look right either. Uh, the only other one I got is gold. What this looks like. Hmm. 
I don't know. Um, I don't think I like any of them, <laughs> to be quite honest. So, get me old baby. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Looks like Sandra might have made a boo-boo again. Right, they've come off all right. And that's the Posca pens. This, this one, oh, that one's come off all right. That one's come off all right. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> Another wet pair, baby. It doesn't come off very well, does it? <laughs> and that one was from this set that I got from Amazon which is just acrylic paint marker. That's all it is. Darla Roni. I've got a black and a white. And the white doesn't want to come off. <laughs> and yet the Posca pens, which are supposed to be one of the best, comes off. Wow. <laughs> Let me try a little bit of alcohol. See if that helps. Ah, that goes, it comes off. That helps it come off. There you go. If you can't get it off, alcohol. There you go. That's it. That's all off. All cleaned. So yeah. There you go. It's another little. <laughs> it's a bit rough underneath. It's got a, a lip. As you can, I don't know if you can see that. And it's not all the way round, but it's part of the way round. So if you're going to use this for putting it on a table or something, I would definitely get some felt or some cork or something and put that underneath. And when you're doing it, I'd make sure you fill all the holes up. <laughs> not like me. But there you go. I enjoyed doing that one. That was quite fun. Even though you can see it's not... It's a uh, higher one side than it is the other. But never mind. I enjoyed it. Love this mould. Um, as I said, saw uh, Wanda using it. And she gave me the idea of getting it. So thank you very much, Wanda, if you're watching. I think it's a brilliant little mould and I'm going to do some more bits with it. don't know what mind. Got to get some more resin first. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please give me a thumbs up, any comments. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you would because I get all excited when I get a new subscriber. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.